This is part 97 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery selectable widget. jQuery selectable widget allows us to select elements individually or in a group using the mouse. Let's understand this with an example. On this page right here, we've got the weekdays from Monday to Sunday. We want the user to be able to select the days he or she is available. Once that selection is complete, we want to display the selected days as you can see here. So let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So on the page right here, we've got an unordered list with an ID. And then we've got list items from Monday to Sunday. And then we have this literal text followed by this div element, which is going to display the selected days. So if we view this page in the browser, by default, the list items will be rendered like this. But we want those list items to be rendered like blocks. So let's apply a style class to the list items. So within our page, let's include a section for style. And I'm going to specify style for list items. So first of all, I'm going to set the display style property and we want to display that as inline block. And let's set padding of 20 pixels and a border of one pixel solid black. So let's save the changes and let's view this in the browser. Look at that, now the days are rendered as blocks. And another thing that we want to do is when we move the mouse cursor over the list item element, we want the mouse cursor to change to a hand symbol. So I'm going to set the cursor property as well and let's set it to pointer. So let's save the changes, reload this page. And look at this, the pointer is now a hand symbol. All right. Now, we want to make those list items selectable. So within our jQuery ready function, we are going to find this unordered list using its ID. So let's use the jQuery ID selector. And on that, we're going to call jQuery selectable function. So this is going to make those list items selectable. Let's save our changes and reload this page. All right. Now, I can actually select these elements. So I have selected now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But there is no visual feedback saying that these elements are really selected. Behind the scenes, what jQuery is doing is it's actually applying a style class to the elements that we have selected. And to see what that style class is, let's launch the developer tools by pressing F12. So within developer tools, let's click on this magnifying glass and find this Monday list item and look at that that list item is selected and look at the class it's applied ui dash selected so for monday tuesday and wednesday it has applied ui dash selected for the other list items that is from thursday to sunday we don't have that class applied so if you want to change the style of the selected list items then use this class on your page so let's go ahead and do that so the name of the class is UI dash selected. So within our style section, I'm going to include a class UI dash selected. And for the selected list, list items, let's change the background color to green and font color to white. Okay, so let's save our changes and let's go ahead and reload this page. And look at this now. I'm selecting Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Look at that, the background color is changed to green, indicating that those list items are selected. Now, when we are actually selecting an item, during the process of selecting, you know, it doesn't change the style of the element in any way. Now, when the item is in the process of being selected, you know, a different class is applied, and that is UI-selecting. So we can override that class as well, UI-selecting. And while we are selecting, let's say we want to change the background color of the element to gray. OK, so let's save the changes, reload this page. And look at this. When I click on it to select before leaving the mouse, look at that, it's gray. And when I leave the mouse, it turns to green. At that point, that's actually selected. 
look at that as as I'm dragging the mouse across look at that the gray style is applied and as soon as I leave the mouse on mouse up event the items are selected and UI dash selected class is applied alright so we have selected the days now we want to display this selected days within the development now we know that for all the selected day uh, days jQuery is going to apply that UI dash selected class so what I'm going to do is within our jQuery ready function I'm going to handle stop event so when is this event is raised this event is raised at the end of selection operation okay so I'm going to associate a function with this event and how do I know what are the list items that the user has selected now any I element that has got that UI dash selected class applied we know that that element is selected so I'm going to find all the elements that has this class applied UI dash selected so that's our class selector there and I'm going to use you know the each function to loop through each selected element and then I'm going to retrieve you know the text of it and display that within the development so let's create a variable here and let's call that result and let's initialize that to an empty string result so as we are looping through each element result plus equals dollar this and this refers to the list item that we are currently looping over and I'm going to use the text function to retrieve the text of that list item and let's append an HTML break and then finally once we are done you know looping through each list item we want to display whatever we have got in this result variable within the development and the development has got an ID and it is result so let's use the jQuery ID selector and find that development so the ID of the development is result and I'm going to use the HTML function pass our variable result alright so let's save our changes reload this page and look at this when I select Monday it displays Monday if I select Monday Tuesday Wednesday all those three days um, are displayed along with it if I select Friday look at that it's updated and Sunday so here we have the HTML, CSS and the jQuery code. Thank you for listening and have a great day.